A Port Lincoln woman whose callous attacker eluded police for almost a decade has finally had her day in court. Lynette Clark was all but murdered in her own home by a man she'd welcomed into her family and even comforted her as she fought to recover. Twelve years ago, Nanette Clark's safe world was cruelly taken away. She was bashed with a metal pole within an inch of her life in her Port Lincoln home. Today, she could confront her attacker. I feel like we have all had an opportunity to say what we needed to say, which has in turn given us a great sense of closure, which we all desperately needed. For nine years, Nanette lived in fear. Her attacker hadn't been caught. Then in 2012, she discovered he was someone she knew, trusted and had welcomed into her home, the boyfriend of her partner's daughter, Jody. A huge, huge amount of betrayal and just, yeah, I just felt numb. And then over the past three years, I've just had to come to terms with it all. Nicholas Lowe was only caught because he was arrested over another crime, an elaborate fraud which netted him more than a million dollars from the state's Victims of Crime Compensation Fund. DNA he was forced to provide linked him to the attempted murder cold case. She can, you know, finally know you know, what's happened and, and who did this to her. The court heard Nanette Clark owes her life to a change in weather on that fateful night. It meant her partner came home unusually early from fishing before Lowe could bundle the unconscious woman in a car. Despite being found guilty at trial, Lowe hasn't offered an apology or a motive. I'm determined to move on and get my life back. Kim Robinson is live at the Supreme Court and Kim, there are calls for Nicholas Lowe to be jailed for life. That's right, Brenton. Prosecutors say the impact this crime has had not only on, Net on Nanette Clark but the entire Port Lincoln community warrants such a sentence. The brutal attack on one of its own shocked and enraged the tight-knit community for which a social impact statement was prepared and today read to court. It was very powerful. It described how on the day Nanette was attacked was the day Port Lincoln lost its innocence and many people are still too scared to stay home alone at night time. So Lowe will learn his fate next week and any sentence that is imposed on him will be on top of the decade jail sentence he's already serving for his fraud offences. Thank you, Kim.